Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It is your boy Optic Scumpy bringing you another Black Ops 2 gameplay commentary as we migrate host right at the start of the match. But let me tell you something about this gameplay real quick before we hop into things. They get absolutely bamboozled. If you don't know what bamboozled mean, you will see by the end of this video. That's all I gotta say. I'm not gonna spoil my final ending, um, kill to death ratio, um, for you guys. But uh, stick around till the end of the video because it is a it is a good gameplay in the skill based matchmaking as well. Um, so you know it it just makes it that much better, that much more rewarding. I'm not playing against scrubs that don't have ghosts. So it's really good. Uh, we're playing Kill Confirmed on Overflow. And I wanted to talk about Frag Cup 4 and the uh, event a little bit. Uh, I know that we didn't have the best placing ever, but I want to go into detail about a couple things. And I just want to say a couple things that are on my mind about the event itself. Uh, it was a great event run by Machinima once again, you know, and 360 Icons. Couldn't thank them enough. Uh, they didn't have to do that for us, and they went through a great event. Like like always, so I uh, gotta give props to them. Thank you, uh, Fwiz, Hastro, Rambo, Revan. Did a great job in the booth commentating for the weekend, and uh, it was really fun. So there were 32 teams, as you guys know. I'm sure you've seen my other commentaries about the Frag Cups before. There were 32 teams total in the final bracket, us being one of them. We played Fierce to get top 16, beat them. Next, we played Fear to get top 8. We beat them 3-1. to one. Um, and that, that's basically where I want to start talking in the detail about what happened. Next up, we played Fariko Gaming, and they have John, Karma, Killa, and Too Quick on their squad. Very, very well-rounded team. We ended up falling just short of beating them to get to the round of four, where we would have played against Quantic, otherwise known as Quantic. Um, their new name is Complexity, or Leverage, also people know them by. So we lost to Fariko, 3-2. to two. We lost both of the hard points, took one of the CT, took the first SND, took the CTF, so we were up 2-1 in the series. They took the next hard point in a close match. Actually, the first hard point was closer than this, the, the second one. It was like a 30-point difference on the first one. And then the second one, we actually sort of got blown out, actually, now that I think about it. But, you know, it's all good. You know, I could throw some numbers around. But, um, and then we ended up losing the final SND. We had so many silly mistakes that I know if we didn't make those mistakes, we would have won. But that is what tournaments are for. You learn, and then you don't make those mistakes again. And I'm sure that we won't. We had a couple mis miscommunications, uh, a couple mishaps during our SND, uh, a couple of clutches that didn't go our way that probably should have if we would have, you know, had our communication down 100%, which we did not. But I'm not trying to make excuses for us. Fariko played great. They had a very good squad, and they almost took out Complexity in the next round. It was a 3-4 to Complexity, who went on to end up winning the tournament overall with a 4-2 over Team Juked. So Complexity played great. It was Aches, Fears, TP, and Crim6, uh, the former Halo player that switched over. So you know that's pretty monumental. He switched over, and he won his first event. Congrats to him. That's pretty, that's pretty sick. And then you got Juked, my boy Bobby is on that team. Uh, you got Spacely, Slacked, and Huddle. So they are both really good teams. Juked was a, a sleeper team going into it. Nobody thought that they would be able to, you know, put up much of a fight against Complexity, but they did. They turned some heads today, and I'm really, really proud of Bobby and crew and Spacely. You know, um, I don't know Slacked and Huddle on the same level that I know Spacely and Bobby. But congrats to them nonetheless. You know, they earned it. They played a lot. They worked hard. And, you know, that's what that's what paid off. It paid off for them in the end. And it's great to see us. We finished top eight. I'm not sure what our official placing is. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to get top five. We we lost three to two. And we went to a four to six on the last SND. So I think that was the closest, if that's what they're going by, the closest um, map to score ratio, I guess. So I, I think we came closest in that respect, but, you know, I could be completely wrong. I'm not really sure how they're basing that off of, but um, the top four placings are not in yet. Obviously, Complexity first and Juke second, but there's still a Constellation match being played um, to determine who the third and fourth winners are, and that will be between Fariko 
and <clears throat> Nova, I believe, is who lost to Bobby's team. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty much what happened in Frag Cup. Uh, we lost. You know, we're going to work on things. We're going to come out big uh, come December. Well, it is December. Come December 28th at UMG Chicago. We have a little bit of time to prepare. And trust me, I'm going to get my team on their high horse. I am not losing again. I'm really hyped up. You know, it just it reignited the fire literally on my head that uh, I want to win. I want to win. And uh, I, I can't I can't not win. It's just I have to. You know, it's 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 what I it's what I fiend for, man. I got to get my crack and or winning. That's just what I need. But um, <clears throat> the gameplay is coming to an end and my voice is starting to give out a little bit. <clears throat> there we go. But as you can see, 80 and 1 with 30. I can't tell if that's 30 or 38 confirms. Basically, I beasted. But thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit the like button. Peace.